This rule checks for all trace segments for their single-ended impedance. Impedance of a trace depends on the trace width, height, and what layer the trace is routed on. Prerequisites for running the rule is detailed layer setup data. Hyperlinks DRC collects this information from the board and checks it against the parameters specified. Impedance mismatch results in unwanted reflections and can cause major signal integrity failures. This rule requires these five parameter values. The first three are target impedance, which is the ideal value of the impedance for the traces we are checking, tolerance within which we can allow the impedance of a trace, and minimum length of a trace that will be reported as a violation if the impedance value is outside the tolerance. In Hyperlinks DSC, we can create a special rule group. I have created one with these values for the parameters. This rule will be run on an object list named DDR single end that I have previously created. Let's run the rule and take a look at the violations. Here, this violation indicates that the net has higher impedance than what we had set in the parameters. The total length of the net is 1.173 inches out of which 207.2 mils have higher impedance. This will cause reflections on the data mask and the DDR circuit might not work. An easy fix for this would be to increase the width of the trace to decrease the impedance. Let's go ahead and mark that we need to go back and fix this error and add a note that the trace width needs to be increased.